Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. Today we have a little bit of a story time. I picked up my first camera 10 years ago. I never had felt I had anything special to take pictures of. I was always the forgetful type of person and I think I decided to buy my first digital camera as a memory helper to hopefully make it easier for me to remember specific scenarios and situations that I lived. I started making some projects as university assignments, street photography, conceptual photography. I was taking pictures of everything and anything around me that meant something to me. I never asked myself if the pictures were good or bad, because honestly, that did not matter to me. When you are thinking of a body of work or a photo project, the image is not evaluated as a standalone image. It's part of a bigger thing. It's part of the message that you want to convey. Same as in writing, for example. Specific words or even phrases without context are meaningless, but in the whole text they serve as bridges, connectors. Without them, the whole piece is incomplete, void and meaningless. There are some pictures that I took throughout the years that are meaningful to me in a way that is difficult to tell without context or the story behind it. This is the main reason as to why projects matter for photographers that want to take their work seriously. Context and what photographs mean in the whole scheme of things. You can show a beautiful image that doesn't mean anything at all and you can show ugly ones that fail in so many aspects composition, colors, tonality, exposure, scenario, setting but they hit the jackpot in communicating what you really want to say and the story that you want to tell. Today, I wanted to pick one of those images from my personal archive and tell you why this image is meaningful to me. When I took this picture, I was in London during a gap year in 2012 or 13, I believe. I was feeling lost without direction and didn't know what path I was really taking nor where I was going. I had an Hasselblad and somehow was drawn to shoot street photography at the time. While in a foreign country, walking in the packed city streets, I remember feeling kind of out of place as I came to a stop in the red light of a road crossing in the middle of a very large group of people. I look across the street. What do I see? I see this kid in a stroller with an expression that I felt matched mine at the time. He was scared, lost, worried. We as individuals each have our own battles, but the feelings are the same and sometimes have similar expressions. I picked up the camera while standing behind the first row of people and took the shot without even thinking about composition, as you can probably tell by the image. It has a lot of negative space to it and the women's heads are out of the frame. The information is only in the gap between two people's bodies. The interest of the image is in the middle top part of a squared frame. A lot of questions can be raised regarding composition here, but as I looked at it again and again, after printing it dozens of times in different ways, I realized that the feeling it communicates is the right one for this image. That feeling of someone often invisible, lost and lonely, pushed to a corner, able to be seen only through a small gap, with a lot of people around him yet still scared, worried and unprotected. The last detail that I want to point out is the word look, read upside down as part of the look left, look right, white letters on the road crossings in the UK, for those of you who are familiar with it. That lonely word deprived of its original context and given another one here, as if the word itself is coming out of the child's mouth, look, look at me. Yet no one seems to listen or care. This is just another detail that came to be by chance, as I had no time to think about anything at all. These are just a couple of reasons as to why that image is meaningful to me, not because it's pretty or beautiful or technically perfect, but because it talks to me about all these subjects that are somehow personal to me, and ultimately because it is part of something bigger, more complete, part of a project that has the sole purpose of communicating something that comes from within, ultimately an expression of who I am. So to you, I tell you, go out there, try to take pictures with a purpose, have some ideas in your head and try to tell them with images, word by word, 
with the notion that sometimes one word can be meaningless on its own, but make a whole world of difference when it gets some friends. If you like this print, and if you want to support me in some way, I'm going to be printing 10 of these and making them available in my Etsy store. Links will be in the description down below. This is a silver gelatin print on fiber-based paper, archivally toned, which means it will probably last longer than you and I. Numbered and hand-signed, the printed area is 10 by 10 inch or 25 by 25 centimeters, with a 2 centimeter or roughly 1 inch margin around its edges. I would really appreciate if you grabbed one from my store, it would help me a lot. Thank you so much for watching, I'll see you again next week in the next video. Goodbye.